What does the DC movie universe have in store for us? Now that Birds of Prey has fantabulously emancipated one Harley Quinn, we've got a new next movie to look forward to and a league full of movies after it in the next few years. I'm Greg Elliott with Screen Rant, and here's every DC movie coming out after Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey is a hit with critics, and DC's got a full slate of films to follow it up between now and 2022. And on June 5th of this year, we'll get some retro vibes with Wonder Woman 1984, Gal Gadot's second solo outing as Princess Diana of Themyscira. We already know Steve Trevor is back as a man out of time, and the film will also have the debut of Kristen Wiig as Barbara Ann Minerva, also known as Cheetah in the comics. And we'll actually get to see the face of our favorite Mandalorian, Pedro Pascal, as bad guy Maxwell Lord. And then that's it for the rest of 2020. Yeah, really. We don't get going again until June 25th of next year, 2021, and that's when DC will unveil their new Dark Knight in the movie simply titled The Batman. We'll miss you, Batfleck. It was nice while it lasted. The Batman's connections, or lack thereof, to the shared universe that DC has created are kind of questionable, but this is what DC's given us, so we'll just have to wait and see how Battinson fits into the story, if he even does at all. Regardless of its continuity, we're going to get to see many of the rogues in Batman's gallery, including Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, Paul Dano as Riddler, Colin Farrell as Penguin, Jeffrey Wright as Jim Gordon, and Andy Serkis as Alfred. Filming just started last month, so maybe we'll get a peek of the new Batsuit or Batmobile sometime soon? Then on August 6, 2021, we'll be getting The Suicide Squad, James Gunn's sequel slash reboot slash relaunch of 2016 Suicide Squad. The cast is huge, and some of the original crew will be back, like Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Rick Flagg, and Amanda Waller, but John Cena's also in it, Idris Elba, David Dasmalchin, Taika Waititi, Nathan Fillion, Peter Capaldi, Michael Rooker, and a bunch more are all in this film. I feel like The Rock has been saying he's going to be Black Adam for forever, but it doesn't matter what I think because he'll finally be making his big screen appearance on December 22nd, 2021. Black Adam, for those of you who don't know, is an arch enemy of Shazam, and for whatever reason, most likely because, well, it's The Rock, they decided to give him his own solo movie first. The movie is also set to introduce the Justice Society of America, the Golden Age version of the Justice League, and will feature members such as Adam Smasher, Cyclone, and Hawkman. In May of 2022, we'll be getting a movie that definitely takes place outside the shared universe, DC Super Pets. This one will be written and directed by Jared Stern, who also wrote the Lego Batman movie, and while we're not sure yet if it'll be inspired by the Cartoon Network series or something entirely new, it'll definitely include some of the characters kids know, like Crypto the Superdog and Ace the Bathound. Ezra Miller's Barry Allen made a quick appearance in the CW's Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover recently, and it sounds like The Flash movie is finally getting some speed too. It's now set for a July 1st, 2022 release, more than four years after it was supposed to happen, and will supposedly be loosely based on the Flashpoint comic where Barry goes back in time to save his mom, which let's just say screws up the timeline pretty bad. And just in time for the holidays, Aquaman comes back upstream on December 16th, 2022. We don't know too much about it yet, but James Wan will be directing again, and Ocean Master and Black Manta are both confirmed to be coming back. So there's the next two years of DC for you guys. We'll keep you up to date as more info comes to light, so keep checking back with us to stay in the loop. I'm Greg Elliott, and I'm out. Peace.